All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this cinematic chrome text effect here in Adobe Firefly. So the first thing you're going to need to do is select a liquid font for this. So here is an example that I was working on. By the way, I purchased the Rustic Age regular font and eventually I did customize it. And all you need to do is save it as a JPEG, but I'm going to screenshot it real quick just like that. And now we're gonna go to Adobe Firefly. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just upload the reference image without creating any style reference because I also wanna demonstrate how to do prompt crafting. So first let's go to the aspect ratio, choose widescreen. The content type is gonna be photo and let's go to the reference image, upload image and select the image, click on open, continue. Let's go ahead and increase the strength to 100%. Scroll down, I'm gonna select hyper realistic. Scroll down more, I'm gonna select a lighting studio light. And for the prompt I'm gonna type in Melting chrome liquid text floating black background. And let's click on try prompt. So these results look pretty sick already, but you might say they're a little bit more boring, but let's go and play around with it. So instead of this dull gray color, I'm gonna go and type in melting blue chrome and click on try prompt. So it basically turned the full composition blue with a blue filter, which isn't that professional. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down and here we got a color and tone, change it to warm tone. Let's try this out. And we start to notice a little bit of orange there because of the warm tone, but it's not doing a lot actually. So I'm going to insist and force it a little bit by typing in orange studio lights. Click on generate. And now it is changing up the dynamic of the composition. So it is bringing in more orange. It is mixing up uh, the orange with the blue, which is a pretty solid combo, by the way. But also the whole composition looks really painty at the same time. So I'm going to try to generate another one. Yeah, so for the second generation, it actually starts to look better. But I'm going to need to fix this painty effect. So what I'm going to do is go to the melting blue and I'm going to type in melting polished blue chrome and generate. And I think it's even better. I mean, kind of a but not really some of them are actually looking better but you're gonna need to generate a couple of more and i like the ones where the ai is actually putting a floor so it is floating on a floor so i'm gonna go and just shove it in here for example metal floor generate and then we got a couple of versions of metal floor. Now the thing is like the AI doesn't know like what kind of metal floor you want. So it is bringing a couple of different options. So I'm going to go to the metal floor and I'm going to complete it with smooth metal floor. Generate. All right, so now we got some smooth metal floors. This one is pretty accurate and then this also... So mainly it does the job how it should. And check this out, some of these are actually shining because of the reflections and it creates that glow effect. And pretty much this is it for today. Hope you liked it and see you on the next one.